This self-contained apparatus allows students to measure Planck's constant and the work function of a cathode metal. The apparatus is a self-contained unit with a photo cell. It comes with five different wavelengths, all of which have their wavelength in nanometers labeled. It comes with a knob to adjust the intensity of the LEDs, as well as potentiometer knobs to adjust the opposing voltage from the photocell. The vacuum phototube has a cap on it which should always be in place to limit the amount of time that any ambient light can get into it. You have a built-in nanoammeter, voltmeter, and the diagram for the potentiometers are built right into the front. And just to show you how you can vary the intensity of each LED, you can take it all the way down to nothing, but having it at about 75% is the ideal intensity. The wavelengths of each LED are shown on the graph. Only the peak wavelengths are intense enough to make it to the photocell. To set up for this experiment, the first thing you would do, and again, the LED is not plugged in and the power supply is not plugged in. You would take off the cap, plug in the LED, then attach the LED to the side where it gets its power from. Then you would plug in the power supply to the main apparatus. The next thing you would do is to adjust the opposing voltage until you get zero on the nanoammeter. You have a coarse and fine adjustment knobs. This allows you to zero in on exactly zero nanoammeters. Once you get to zero nanoammeters, you record the voltage, which is the stopping potential, and you record the wavelength for that LED. And then you repeat this process for the four other LEDs. Once you plot the wavelengths versus stopping potential for each LED, you can have a linear regression line drawn, which will give you the equation shown above. When you look at the equation of the linear regression line, the slope will represent Planck's constant and the y-intercept will represent the work function of the metal. The Planck's constant apparatus allows both high school and college students to easily and accurately investigate the quantum phenomena. The compact and smart design requires no additional equipment, and as long as the proper procedure is followed, any error associated with ambient light is eliminated. The peak wavelength labeled on each LED takes away the guesswork as to the wavelength that is hitting the photocell. Once you are done, you can expect a percent error that is less than 1%, and then you can have the students go even further and investigate the work function.